Here's an amazing trick that eliminates 99% of device distractions. This works on your iPhone, but also on your iPad, and it will even sync with your Mac. I've been teaching Apple productivity tips for years, but not many people know about this feature because Apple just doesn't advertise it very well. Here's how it works. Normally, my iPhone's home screen looks like this with all kinds of apps from photos to my smart home controls to YouTube. But when I press this button right above the volume controls on the side of my iPhone for just a second, poof, now I only see my work to do's, my calendar and apps I use at work like Google Docs and notes. And that's not all. In an app like Apple Messages, pressing this button will hide all of my personal chats and only show me conversations with work colleagues. Just head over to the settings app and scroll down for a little bit until you see where it says focus because this feature is called the focus feature. Then tap the plus button at the top right and choose the suggested work focus. Then tap customize focus. You're going to see this screen here. Let me walk you through the options. It'll just take a few minutes, but it's going to save you a whole lot of time in the future and help make you a lot more productive and less distracted. Under this section, silence notifications right here, you'll see that it says choose people and choose apps. Let's set those up first. We can choose just the notifications we want to receive when we have this work focus mode, as it's called, turned on. Who do I want to hear from when I'm at work? Now, the way to set this up is there's two options. I can either say I want to silence notifications from specific people and allow all the other ones to come through, or I can only allow notifications from specific people and silence all the other ones. So it's blacklisting versus whitelisting. I like the whitelisting approach because it reduces notifications to a minimum. So what you'll want to do is you want to make sure that the check marks for everyone you work with are selected right here. So these are personal people. So I'm going to uncheck those. And then I'm going to tap the add people button. And you'll just want to do this for any of your most important colleagues that you want to hear from. So you find someone. You add them. Now there's the check marks. OK, next. It'll ask you which calls do you want to allow? Probably calls from allowed people only. All right. And notice how it says at the bottom, if you added someone to your emergency bypass contacts, that is going to go through. And by the way, if you've never heard of this focus feature or the emergency bypass feature, I have a free guide that's going to show you a lot of these iPhone productivity and other features. Just download that guide in the link in the video description. All right, I'm going to tap done and let's move over to the app settings. Choose apps right over here on the right. So just like we could say we want to hear get notifications from certain people in this work focus, we can do the same thing for apps. Again, we can choose to silence notifications from specific apps, but I highly recommend using the whitelist method to allow notifications from specific apps. And you'll see some suggested apps right here. Now, Flighty is a flight tracking app, for example. Definitely don't want to hear from that while I'm working. Health, no. Messages, no. You'll still get messages from people that are whitelisted in the people list, by the way. So that's good to know. Reminders, yes. Signal, no. Slack I use for work communication. Not my banking app. And also not WhatsApp. And you can just go tap Add Apps and go through the list of apps that are installed on your device right here and select the ones. For example, maybe ChatGPT is one that you might want to receive notifications from while you're working. So you want to set that up and then tap Done. Just good to know. Go back into that app screen for a minute and see where it says time sensitive notifications. I recommend turning that on. What does that do? It says allow apps not in your allowed list to send notifications marked as time sensitive immediately. So for example, I don't have the Uber Eats app whitelisted here. But if I'm ordering some food and Uber Eats sends me a notification, hey, the delivery person will be here in two minutes. I want to know about that even if I'm working because I'll just need to go to the front door to meet the delivery person. Now, before we head over to the next section, which is to customize our home screen, which is what I was showing you earlier when I pressed the button, I just want to still under this allow notification section to press this options button right here. And you'll see this screen. See where it says hide notification badges? Just make sure that's turned on. What that's going to do is it's going to hide the little red notification circles on your home screen, like this one that I've got right here on the WhatsApp app, when I turn on the work focus mode, which we're going to do in a minute. Let's head back into settings and back out of this. 
and then go customize our screens. Now we can customize a lock screen or home screen or even our Apple Watch face, although I don't find that one very useful myself. So let's customize the home screen. That's what I was showing you earlier. We only see work apps when we're focusing on work. So the home screen is the middle one right here. I'll just tap that one and we can either create a new page or choose existing pages. And so you'll wanna tap create a new page. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna tap edit apps, check the ones that you wanna show, uncheck the ones that you don't wanna show, and then you just tap add at the top right. At this point, we gotta turn on our focus mode. I'll show you how to do that in a minute, but I'm just gonna go over to my home screen right here and long press that side button again. You'll see it says this page turns on automatically when work focus is on. Great. Now I wanna customize this because this includes some apps that I don't wanna see like Signal and my health app and a news app. So I'll just tap the empty space at the bottom right here and long press and hold that things start to jiggle. Now I can delete apps that are not relevant. Now notice that when I'm pressing the delete button, I can either delete the app entirely, which deletes it from my phone, which I don't wanna do, or I just tap remove from home screen. That's what I wanna do right here. So the home app goes, lots of apps go, okay? And you can also tap edit at the top right now and you can add widgets. So for example, what I like to do is there's an app called Things, which is my to-do app of choice. It's my favorite to-do app for Apple devices, by the way, and I've got a tutorial video and even an entire video course on how to use this app to organize your entire life. So go check those out. Links are all in the description below the video. But I'm just gonna tap that widget right here and maybe I wanna make it bigger and just add that to the top. Now here's a cool feature that you can do with apps like things to just a bonus feature I'll show you. I can long press the widget and then tap edit widget and I've set up tags in this app. So I can tap filter by tags and choose the business tag. And now it'll actually only show me my work to do's for today and not my personal to do. So I love this. So you can really get custom with your home screen like this, okay? What I'll do is I'll go back into settings and I'll tap edit. And I'm actually gonna choose one of my existing pages that I'd already set up the way that I wanted to just to show you how nice it can look. I really like this, this is all of my work apps and it really helps me eliminate all of those distractions. Now let's go back to the settings and let me show you how to turn this so-called work focus on and off. If I scroll down, it says set a schedule. And first of all, there's a feature called smart activation that I can go into and turn on or off. And what that's gonna do is Siri and Apple Intelligence are gonna figure out when this focus mode should turn on. For example, if it thinks you always go into a certain location and that must be your office, it'll automatically turn it on there. Unfortunately, I find it not that reliable, so I just prefer to turn the work focus mode on manually, but we can do smart things. If we tap add schedule right here, we can turn on the work focus mode automatically at a certain time or a location. Those are the, the most useful options. If I choose the time, what I could do is I could set Monday through Friday, weekdays from nine to five, done, boom. Now this will automatically turn on from nine to five, Monday through Friday. I'll turn that off right here and I can also go back and add a schedule location when I arrive at work. So if you've got your work address listed in on your iPhone, you can tap that right here, or you can just type in an address and then it'll be a location-based trigger. Once you get to work, this will turn on. Once you leave your work site, this will turn back off. But like I said, I like to do this manually. And so the way that you turn this on or off manually is with either the action button on the side of your iPhone is very easy or in the control center. So let me show you the action button first if you have that. Go back to the main setting screen of your iPhone and then just go up and scroll to where it says action button, okay? Tap that. Now, it might be listed as silent mode for you so you can just scroll right through and the second one for me right here is focus. And if I then tap this sort of drop down thing, I have a lot of options. I can choose a specific focus if you've got multiple set up or I can choose all focus modes. Let me show you what that does first. If I go on my home screen and now I long press that button on the side of my iPhone right here, long pressing it, it shows me this filter and I can choose which focus mode I wanna turn on or off. Do not disturb maybe or work maybe. So it shows me the, the filter picker as it were. But what I actually prefer is if I go back into the settings app, I actually prefer to tap this again and just choose the work focus mode directly because that's the focus mode I use the most. You'll see I also have other ones like sleep, mindfulness, driving and fitness, but the work one is the one I use the most. And so now when I long press that button, it just takes me out of or back into this focus mode. Now, what if you don't have that button or you just prefer to use that button for something else? What you'll wanna do is open Control Center. So you swipe in from the top right of the screen 
and this is your iPhone's control center. Did you know you can customize this, by the way? Another good reason to go ahead and download that free guide I mentioned linked in the video description about all the things you can do with your iPhone, iPad, and Mac productivity-wise. Okay, find some empty space, long press and hold, and you'll see this right here. And you'll see that I already have the focus mode control, but let me just delete it in case you don't have it. And you just tap add a control over here. And you'll just wanna search and start typing focus. And then you'll see the control come up and tap that and it'll sit somewhere. Now you can take it and drag it and move it around and just put it in the right location. Sometimes a little bit tricky to get it where you want it to go. Fine, we'll put it here right now, okay? Just tap out of that. And now this is the control. You can just tap it and you can choose your focus mode. By the way, fun fact, you can tap the little three dots, the ellipses to the right of a focus mode, and you can turn it on for one hour, until this evening, until you leave the location where you are right now, or until the end of the current event on your calendar. So that's pretty neat as well. Now, remember how I showed you earlier that if you're in the messages app, turning on your work focus mode can filter your chats. So you can, for example, only show your chats with work colleagues. Let's set that up. I'm just back in the work focus focus settings in the settings app and I'll scroll all the way down to where it says focus filters. See that section right there? I'm just going to tap add filter and now I'll see a bunch of apps and I'm going to choose the messages app and I'm going to enable filter by people list, tap add. And now if I go into my messages app, so I only see the chats with people that I've set up in my work focus on the allowed list. And if I go back to the settings app, I can set up some more so-called focus filters. And these are also available for some third-party apps. But first, actually, let's do add filter and the mail app. If you use the mail app and you have multiple accounts in the mail app, maybe one is your home, your personal email address, and one is work, you can go ahead and select some of them, but not others here. And then when you open the mail app, it'll be the same as in the messages app, you'll only see your work emails, but not your personal emails while this focus is on. So that's really helpful. Then there's third-party apps like my favorite calendar app, which is called Fantastical. It's really good. And you can set up filters there as well. For example, I can create so-called calendar sets. So for example, I could have this set up so I only show my work calendars, but not my personal calendar when I have the work focus turned on. Although I personally wouldn't use that for my calendar because if something is on my calendar, I'm going to show up whether I'm currently working or not. Now, if you scroll down on this focus filter screen, you're gonna see where it says system filters. And there's one that says silent mode. I like to enable that and just like so, tap add. And now what will happen is when I turn on the work focus mode, my phone will automatically set, be set to silent. Okay, there's a couple more settings that I wanna walk you through that are important. If I scroll all the way up here in the work focus, if you have an iPhone that supports Apple intelligence, you're gonna see this option at the top that says intelligent breakthrough and silencing. Basically, even if a notification isn't allowed per your whitelist for people or apps, but Apple intelligence thinks it's important or urgent, it will send you that notification anyway. Great idea. In practice, I find the execution not good enough yet. So I don't turn this on, but your mileage may vary. So you can give it a shot. I also recommend just going out of this screen and going into the main focus screen and see here where it says share across devices. If you've got an iPad or a Mac, just turn that on. And then this focus and all the settings will sync to your other Apple devices as well, as long as you're signed in with the same Apple account, of course. And here's a bonus tip before we wrap up this video. If you've set up a custom home screen like I showed you earlier for during this or some other focus mode, you'll have set up some apps on your home screen, but other apps won't be there. But what if I need to, for example, access WhatsApp while I'm in the work focus, but I didn't set up WhatsApp on my home screen? I can just swipe down and start searching for WhatsApp and find the app that way, right? This is using Spotlight is what this is called. Or what I can do, I can just swipe right and I get to my app library and I can search for WhatsApp or just scroll through the list and find it right there. So if this feature was new to you, you'll love my free guide to setting up your iPhone, your iPad and your Mac for productivity to get stuff done. The link to the guide is in the video description. Go ahead and grab it. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Ciao.